Welcome, Lights Out Show fans, to the best in mixed martial arts. That is the Lights Out Show. My name is Chris Freeze. Right over here is the JDH. And uh, every week we bring you mixed martial arts. So we just finished our live UFC 123, the Lights Out Show uh, blogcast webcast. Uh, thanks for everyone who is joining us out there. And uh, if, you, if you don't know what we're talking about, every pay-per-view for the UFC, we put together a live webcast blogcast where we uh, live... Uh, you know, you know, webcast ourselves while we're watching the UFC 123. No, we don't show the UFC, but we talk about it. And it's kind of like we're at your own UFC party. We're talking about the fights. You can chat with us live, and it's kind of a lot of fun. So uh, we had a lot of people turn out. Uh, everybody got into it. Uh, people as far away as uh, Northern Ireland, Big Dave Wallace, uh, a longtime listener of the show, uh, joining us there. And, of course, uh, all our stateside friends as well. So we had a great time. And uh, but uh, but lots going on, and uh, th this weekend a, a, a good one, and we're putting the show out right away. So we're we're striking while the iron's hot here. Uh, all about UFC 123, the aftermath. Uh, uh, and, and aside from the fact that the uh, uh, the JDH tried to poison me tonight with some god awful malt liquor. Well, you know what? I expected the worst, hoped for the best, and I was not all that uh, you know blown away by the country club 40 ounce malt liquor that yeah. you poisoned me. It wasn't today. that bad though. If you think about it, we have I have you know I've gone the gamp. You know I, I tried to bring him back. You know we, we talked about uh, you know we'll get into Rampage Jackson because of the fact that I was so worried about the Hollywood thing. <laughs> you know that Hollywood had kind of you know gotten in there and and uh, you know. Uh, poisoned rampage if you will Much like, like it has yeah. like it has poisoned chris he used to like the finer things chris used to be the guy that we're drinking lucky lager which one and he would bring samuel adams to bring the party like stout and porter to the and, party and he would sit there and really like you know years. quote poetry to the chicks that they never got it dude yeah, but you yeah, know he was yeah, always I like was ahead of my time he was the uppity guy at the party with I the was. finer beers I and then he's just gone reason. to the other side yeah and now he goes to Hollywood and he starts drinking with crap with umbrellas in it, stuff that's pink. It, so it, malt, but not malt liquor, malted beverage. Yeah. He's like a Zima dude. You know what I mean? Back, you know, go, very tasty. Google it. Yeah, exactly. but so Why that didn't survive. I'll never know. That being said, I I tried to kind of pull him in with the arrogant bastard and the Stone Brewery, and he would just complain and complain. Yeah. So I figured he doesn't like the fire. Even like the nice German beer, I would give him some great German, and the old Chris Freeze would have liked it. Yeah, New yeah. one, not so much. Yeah. You know, it, 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 it's got to taste like something your kids would like. So I, I, <laughs> I, I, I hearken back to, you know, uh, Chris Freeze and the JDH, you know, circa, you know, late eighties. We'll, well this is why I was a little worried because you texted me saying, "I'm bringing some good stuff tonight. I'll bring the adult beverages, some good stuff." Wink, wink tonight, yeah. and I'm thinking that doesn't bode well because I don't think he's going to be bringing it over any Bartles and James which would have been welcomed uh, with open arms. Yeah, and the only thing good about yeah, well, Bartles and James, you know, oh, Bruce Willis used to do the commercials, that's the only thing good. Seagram's. Go oh, that was that, that's right. Cooler. He was Seagram's. What do you mean Bart Bartles and James? Yeah, Bartles and James were the two guys are like, thanks for your support. Oh, yeah, the old guys. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. They tank. So I brought over the malt liquor because I'm thinking we used to be into it. We had the Colt 45 going. We had the Schlitz malt liquor going. We had the St. Ives, which was the worst. Mm. Uh, uh, King Cobra. Oh, Ives, yeah. And then we've always passed over the country club, dude. And this is, and it, it, it's one of those things, There's it's classy. Reason. It's classy with the label. Wow. It's got the gold, it says country club, but then it has the triple X. So it's like, hey, we also like to party. You <laughs> yeah, know what with, I mean? With the hardcore porn. Yeah. You know. So that being said, we drank it and it wasn't that bad. You have to it admit wasn't, it wasn't. It was. I was expecting skunk from beyond the forest. The great uh, thing about it was was people that were were new to the life. Like, see, it seems like the locals are like, oh, whatever. These guys drink all kinds of weird crap, and uh, but it was the new guys coming. Hey, are you drinking a forty ounce? <laughs> That's true. They were kind of like, this is a cool party. Sort, sort of impressed, like like you know, a rave. Exactly. <laughs> we seriously were drinking the forty ounces. So yeah, it was all good. You know, uh, I, I wanted to get that alcohol. I can't think of the name. It's like four loco. You Which, know, it's like outlawed now. That's that, why I wanted to get it. So I went to like the <laughs> seediest. I leave it to the JDH. Who, it's outlawed. I want it. I went to the seediest freaking liquor store, dude. Seriously, I'm looking over my shoulders. It's, it's about to be robbed, dude. It's, it's like it's like an energy drink, 
mixed with hardcore alcohol kind of thing. So you think you're all woo when you're really like, you know. <laughs> very, very good. <laughs> yeah, like that, that was actually a very good analogy. <laughs> but, and, and I guess that's the problem. Your, your body's thinking, hey, I'm up, but your the freaking mind's going, no, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm but not. But here's the problem is I was reading an article, dude, this has even gotten to the New York Times. And they're actually claiming, dude, this is like a, a status, you know, elitism versus the, the class, I guess a class warfare. Because so, look at, uh, elitism? Elitism as in, think for about the this. Logo? No, it's against it, because think about Red Bull Vodka. Dude, Red Bull Vodka is everywhere. Yeah, you go to the like Sky a, Bar, a bar you, drink, you go to yeah, the Sky Bar, you go to any high class establishment, everyone's chicks love that drink. Chris probably loves it. Uh, everybody, no offense, but uh, why do you follow <laughs> chicks love it with I love it? Because it's sweet and it doesn't taste bad. And I've had it. Remember, you and I, we had vodka and uh, Monster Drink, and it wasn't yeah, as bad yeah, as we thought. Yeah. And so, same thing. I guess that's what it does. It keeps you up, but you're drunk. So you're like a, a freaking awake drug. You should somehow get alcohol and coffee. If you need a sound effect, it's, you think you're woo when you're really Ugh, yeah. You know? And and so I guess that's the problem. But now now all of a sudden you start giving it to people for a dollar twenty five a can. <laughs> They call it like blackout in a can. Okay, well, no you know what? No good can come from that. So now the, the other people, the people that can only afford two bucks, start getting tanked on this. So we're like, whoa, whoa, we got to take care of the lower classes. The people that can only afford $1.25, i.e. the JDH. And I can't find the crap, dude. Send it to me, lights.show.com. <laughs> anyway, that was exactly, I went into this place strictly to find the four loco and I couldn't find it. So oh, I, I ended Lord. with... Dude, and I swear, I swear the guy that was behind the counter, when I put in the two, and I always thought they were both for me, when I put in the... the <laughs> He's like, dude, times aren't that bad. Things when I put in, up. no, no, he, when I put in the, 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 the two country clubs down, he was like, yes, <laughs> four bucks. <laughs> yeah, that sounds terrible. Seriously, was it two bucks each? Oh my God! Dollar ninety nine. He didn't even charge me tax, and I don't think it's a. God. I don't think it's a food. It's not a taxable I don't, item. I don't think it's a food yeah, you item. Yeah, you can't. Do but that. he oh, just yeah. four bucks even, dude. Oh, gave me no. the fist bump. <laughs> Did you blow it up? He's. I should have. He probably thought I was going to take it right outside and freaking crack it open. See, like, see, it depends on the cashier. One cashier is going to fist bump you. The other one's going to give you like, no, dude, no charge. And by the way, dude. Things are going to go He's going to give you a pamphlet on it. It's <laughs> not that bad, dude. Seriously. Life isn't that bad. Wow. Kozak can bring you back. <laughs> God. All right. Well, that's what we enjoyed tonight. And uh, apparently it's, it sounds like we had a couple of locos by how we're sounding. But uh, but we're excited because we just enjoyed a, uh, a great night of UFC 123. It really was. It really was. Between the spike prelims and the pay-per-view, we saw all but one of the fights. And the one that we didn't was a split decision anyway, and so we'll talk about that. But uh, this is all UFC 123 all the time, and uh, so thanks for joining us, and we'll get right into it pretty much right after this. <laughs> 